what is going on guys it is bear here and uh, I've been getting a lot of requests to do tutorials so uh, I think I'm just gonna give it a try so I'm gonna try to get this done under one take if I screw up you'll probably hear me in the beginning of the video the next time I try but um you want to get right into the tutorial this is gonna be a, a kind of a clean professional 2d background if I go into my port I will show you we're gonna make a banner kind of like this it's gonna be just a basic professional 2d one so uh, we're just going to keep this tab open for a reference if you guys like want to keep switching back and forth. But um, so you're going to have your like pretty much your plain background. And uh, this is my template. I have a CC on it actually. All it does is enhances light. It's absolutely nothing but lighting issues. So uh, what you want to do is you want to kind of get like a kind of like a layer to make this background the way you want it to be. So if you guys have bought my exclusive pack, it's five dollars right now. I'm going to be selling it through via Skype, and uh, so if you want it, just either at me on Twitter, add me on Skype, everything will be down in the description of uh, what my stuff is. So the first thing that if you did buy this or if you want to make it, you're going to have to figure out where to get a... somewhere in here. There's so much shit in this, it's ridiculous. Background elements, here we go. You're, you're going to kind of want like a background color. and. Uh, I'm going to prefer this one because it has what I want, the hexagons, it has blue, it has a little bit of like paint splatters on it. It looks really, really nice. So you're just going to take this and drag it into uh, into your composition layer. I don't know what to call this a uh, file, I guess, since it's Photoshop. So you're just going to kind of uh, do this, make it bigger, and uh, so it fits the whole screen. So uh, what the main thing you want to do is have a ruler in the middle of pretty much your Photoshop because you're pretty much going to be working with your eyes looking in the middle. I have all these others from backgrounds that I've done in the past like, like ones like Rise of Sparta. I had to measure everything. It was ridiculous but um crap. But um, we're going to get to this kind of stuff. So I apologize for the clicking in the background. I know it's really annoying. Trust me. I have a desktop and it's really annoying in some videos I've heard people. So what you're going to do is you want to kind of get the opacity going to just give it at 50 halfway. We don't want it at 100 because it's kind of just going to be like too bright. Um, yeah, there we go. That's good. And uh, so because well, we're going to be adding flares, we're going to be adding overlays. So the next thing you want to do is you want to go and find a kind of like a wallpaper, I guess you want to call it. It's a uh, I have it in my tech and future slash futuristic uh, stuff. It's going to be something like this. It's called an HUD. A HUD, I think. I don't know. I don't know what this is called. It's like 2 o'clock in the morning. Um, you kind of want to find something like this. If you can't find this, I know one of the very popular ones is this people use. I think it's overused, so if you guys want to use that, use it. But I'm using this for the sake of the tutorial because it has kind of like a blue style to it. So you're just going to drag. Ooh. Yeah, there we go. We're going to drag it into your YouTube Photoshop thingy and you're going to make sure everything's going to be below these because it's going to get really hectic. So you kind of want to center it and just erase the hard edges which I put my eraser up to 400 around there, hardness on zero. It's going to be a this, you're just going to rasterize it and erase the hard edges and uh, you're going to take it and you're going to put it on overlay. Nope, you're going to take it and put it on screen. <laughs> so you have it on screen, and you're going to take the opacity, and you're just going to kind of mess around with it to whatever looks nice. Um, I think this looks nice, actually. And I still think this is too bright, so I'm going to just gonna click the first one, hold shift, click the second one, take the opacity, and lower it. And you're just going to kind of mess around with this kind of stuff. To get it to your likings. This is kind of the most annoying part is getting everything the way you want it to be. So this is, you're gonna have kind of like your background almost and you're just gonna, we're gonna finish the background first. This is the first thing we're gonna do. So if you go back into my exclusive pack, um, if you don't have this, I honestly, if you're gonna look like a blind rat trying to figure this out by yourself, you're just gonna, I honestly, if you have the five dollars, buy it now. Like I'm not trying to get money out of you. It's gonna help you with your graphics career. Trust me. But um, 
you're gonna go in the overlay section and uh, you're just gonna find these random overlays just take them put them on lower the opacity and you're kind of this kind of just gonna do this and you're not gonna want to keep them all the same size but you know I'm, I'm not too really active I don't want to really do that much shit right now so we have that you can kind of get the cross actually no it's not at the cross getting this hmm use this one. Take this, put it in the middle, take the opacity, and once again, lower it. Alright, so you have a basic background, and you're probably thinking to yourself, like, well, what, what is this kid doing? This thing looks like absolute shit. You'll figure it out later, trust me. So, go back to the exclusive pack, or pack, whatever you're using, and I have this one overlay, and I, I, it's amazing. I love this so much. I use it in almost every background I do, except for backgrounds like this. Ooh. Like this. Which is, I forget whose style. Vash knows who it is. He told me to make a background like that, and I, I honestly, I love this style. So, props to whoever found this out. I'll have him in, in the description. This is one of his backgrounds. I think it's it's Medusa, so you can see I trying to get trying to get it to copy, and then I just somehow figured it out. But um, I use them in almost every background except for those kind of styles. So I'm gonna take this, drag it in, and I'm kind of just gonna put this up here. And you're like, all right, how do I change the color? It's purple, red, whatever color this is. You're gonna hit Control U on your keyboard, which is hue and saturation. Or if you want to be a lazy person, don't know how to do that, go to adjustments, hue and saturation. I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna find a blue. Oh, that's the most it goes. It doesn't need to go this way then. Alright, so we got blue. Alright, the next thing we're gonna start doing is adding text. So you're gonna take your little T, go to Arial. I'm using Bank Gothic font. I love this. So I'm just gonna make this tutorial there. Take it, put it up pretty decently. Actually, I want to do tutorial bear because it looks really long. I'm gonna do bear design. All right. So, Jesus Christ. All right, let's try to get this in the middle. All right, that's next to my. So I have these layer styles. This one's the one we're gonna be using. It's really, really, really nice. Oh, excuse me, holy. But um, what are you doing? All right, go away. All right. So layer styles. It's gonna be these gray. No, nope. it's gonna be silver. Nope. It's gonna be. It's. It's gonna be one of these. Trust me. Alright, maybe it's not one of these. I know what it is. It's this one. It's the green one, and I made it black and white. I used gray, like, hashtag God. But, um, you're going to be using that. So the next thing you're going to want to do, so after you make that gray, like the go to right click, blending options, gradient overlay, make it white to like kind of like a darkish gray, whatever looks good in your eye. So you're going to click, oh, click OK. You're going to take this, this kind of little tool, and you're going to type in with this down, trust me. Put it down now because it gets really annoying when it's super big to like put away. So you're going to put like official, no, welcome to the channel of, and you're going to want to center it. Alright, and just re-click this. So, after this, you don't if you don't necessarily have to do welcome to the channel if I personally like it because I think it looks nice, and you don't have to put bear design or anything else. I just like the way it looks. So after here, you're gonna be like, all right, this is so bland, and you're like, all right, what are you doing here? So I put the YouTube R URL, and I did this for a specific reason. I he used it as a Twitter header, so like as you can see, it's not the regular thing; it's a Twitter header. So what I did, let's get this out of the way. Alright, it looks a little better. But, um, 
I'm just gonna put, I guess, my YouTube. Dot YouTube website. Oh. I spelled YouTube wrong. I spelled everything wrong. If you guys look at my portfolio, I spelled like half the things wrong. I'm gonna be completely honest. I'm way too lazy to change them all. So, take this, bring it up, and you're gonna be like, all right, nice. Just kidding, it's not good. Take this, you're gonna highlight it, and I use this all the time. It's gonna be this little T. No, it's gonna be this. It's gonna look like a file at the doctor's office. Click it. That's not what's supposed to come up. Click this, that's not supposed to come up. Is it this? Nope. All right, it's definitely this, so I don't know what's going on right now, but this is gonna pop up, and you're gonna be like, sick. What is this? So this can this is an easier way to control the size of everything. As you see, I can change the size. I can change the width. I can no. Alright, I can change the width. I can personally change like the spacing, which is what we're gonna be doing. So. Put that back, I think the 60 is fine. And I can change how tall it is and stuff. <sighs> Alright. Time to get on with this. So you're going to take this. This is the size difference. And you're going to up it. Not a lot, but you're going to put it pretty, uh, quite a bit. And this is pretty much all what you're going to see with your eye. And you're going to put it to about there. This is 26. And I'm going to take this and I'm kind of going to extend it. Until I think I'm going to be able to center it pretty good. So I think that might be actually be it. That is not it. Maybe like 75. 65. 45. 50. 55. 60. Uh, 60 it is. All right, this is gonna be different for your text, trust me. So I have this and it's gonna be like the same shit. It's going to be the same kind of, how do I put it, same width, the same kind of look. So you're going to take this, put the layer back on, and uh, next thing you're going to want to do is make the box. And there is plenty of different ways to do it. One of my favorite creative ways to do it is I make a square. No, I make a rectangle. I take this tool, don't know what it's called, I call it the cool tool, it's poly polygonal lasso tool, it's the cool tool, but um, you're going to take this, click it, hold shift, go up, and just erase the part, so you have that, hit control J, duplicate, edit, 180, move, and you have a cool kind of shape, but no, not going to use it. You're going to take this, the square, because we're basic and we like squares. And how do I do this? It's not centered. So you kind of move this there, and you're going to make sure you have the rulers on. And you're going to click it here, and you're just going to make it the width you want it to be. So I think that's good. <sighs> so right click, rasterize. You can get rid of that. And you don't need to rotate it, so you just kind of get it so it, it clicks in with each other, so it looks nice. And you just kind of move it. And I kind of want it to be bigger than the text, actually, because I'm gonna have more stuff around the text. So I'm just gonna duplicate, duplicate another thing. I'm gonna move it till I think it's about the same. It's gonna be annoying. All right, you're gonna oh to do that, talk, click the first one. Shift, click the second one, right click, merge layers. And uh, you guys ever seen effects like this? And you guys think it's so hard? Trust me, it's the easiest thing in the world. I have I just learned how to do this not too long ago. You're going to right click, go to blending options, hit stroke, put the stroke down to one. Click somewhere in your background. Drag it somewhere so you think it's a nice color. Make sure it's on the outside. Take fill and just... Put the fill all the way down, and you can mess with those opacity as well. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh my God, excuse me. But um, all right, we have this, and they kind of want to center it. Take this, move it. Oh, 
move it up, I guess. Yeah. So, next thing you want to do is you want to take the, kind of a circle tool. And I just want to make a little circle. Zoom in. Take the circle, change it back to the rectangle. Make the rectangle go in like this. Alright, so you have not that, you gotta have it thicker. Oh crap, I should. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna right hit the T button. Maybe that make it bigger is the way I want it. Alright, there we go. Take the, you know how to rasterize and duplicate layers, so I already told you that. So, take the eraser, put it down to like 20, 10, 15. Erase it, so you have like a kind of like a fade. That was too much. And you want to take it. Ex not extend it back out. What do you do? Oh, yeah. Zoom back out. Take it and put it in the middle of this. And make it blue. Use this. Wait. No, I have a blue one. There you go. No. The green one. <laughs> make it blue. You can do that by rasterizing and making the hue and saturation and saving the blending, up blending style. Or you can just change the colors yourself which is the easier way so you have that to control J duplicate edit transform flip horizontally click the silver version of this gray move it over here nice nice all right what else did I do check out my content all right take that box you made put it back down my bad Take the text tool. Um, how do you want to do this? Since it's for YouTube, actually, I'm, I don't know what I'm making this for. I'll just pick it. Nah, check out my recent. No. Check my. Oh, check. Check me out. Check me out. Um, my recent work. So this is for design people, as you can tell. If I save my work, you can put Reese my recent content. I'm gonna use work because I do graphics. <sighs> so you're gonna take this, put it in the middle. Tony, these these rulers are like your best friend in this thing. <clears throat> take this, highlight it, put it down to 15. Or don't, don't. Freaking Photoshop. 15. Oh, that's 16. Oh well, close enough. Take it, put it down to recent work. Click the silver. 16's not big enough. Maybe 20. Yep, 20 is good. So it's on 20. Put it in the middle again because the size got bigger and it didn't center itself. Alright, you're going to take the circle tool and you're going to make one little small circle. Nice. Put it back to the gray. Control J, move it. What I do? Control Z. Woo hoo! Oh, Jesus! All right, that's not gonna be my best friend. All right, I'm gonna zoom in for this one. This one's just not having not having fun. So you're just gonna. There we go. And as you can tell, I put it down three three little boxes. So one, two, that's more than three. That's like seven. All right, there's three. So you're going to have to check out my recent work. And you can do what some designers do. I've done it before, is you're going to fade the boxes smaller and smaller. I'm not going to do that because that takes forever. So merge shapes, control J. Going to take the ruler. Oh, yeah, to make it like go on an angle like perfectly, you're going to hold shift. Shift's like what I use on the rig. So I'm going to put shift, and you're going to have that. So if you're just gonna give it a little look. It's looking like a personal personal banner is looking pretty nice right now, not gonna lie. So uh next thing you're gonna wanna do is you wanna kinda color everything because you like coloring and coloring is gonna be awesome. So you're gonna go scroll back down your layers to find what you wanna color. So I'm gonna go down my YouTube URL, that's my favorite one, where you do duplicate control J the URL, make it blue, right click, rasterize. Hold like not hold it, but click your 
rectangular tool. I'm not going to pronounce that. Delete YouTube. Just delete it with the slash. That's what you want to delete. And then you're going to scroll back down in your layers to find Welcome to My Channel 2. Or Welcome to the Channel of. Control J, duplicate that. Click the blue as well. Right click, rasterize. You're going to delete what you want. I preferably deleting Welcome to the and then of so it's like welcome to the channel of get it channel my youtube channel yeah nope all right bear design right click nope duplicate control j or you can right click duplicate right click rasterize that weird ass tool again delete bear and we might be able to make something look cool with this my recent work i think i might keep recent this is pretty much all I like what you want to look like, like what it wants to look like. I right, do all that. <sighs> all right. So as you see, it says "Welcome to the channel of Bear Design." YouTube.com/slash Bear Design. My recent, like it's just like pointing out like the the stupid stuff, like what you want people to look at on your channel. So you're gonna kind of come scroll down to everything, hit the arrow tool. Move it up a little bit because we're gonna about we're probably gonna add stuff up here. All right, so we're gonna work with the box now. This is the box. It's not the box. Where's the box? Only the stroke on it. I can't find. It. There it is. Hit the box. Um, people let name their layers. I don't because I don't find it hard to find stuff. So what you want to do is you want to find pictures for these boxes. What I'm going to do is. I'm gonna take stuff off my portfolio, and I'm gonna hopefully make it look good. If not, shit. But alright, you're gonna click. Um, you need. I, I use print screen to do this kind of stuff because I believe it's a lot easier to use. So you're gonna click print screen. No, I'm gonna click something. Let's use a Nexus one. You're gonna print screen it. And this doesn't always work first try, Let's see if it works. You can click the two copies with this control C, but I click this because it works better. Don't ask me why. And you're just gonna paste it. And you're gonna kind of make it downward. You're gonna scroll, scroll, not scroll, you're gonna pretty much change this. And you're going to make everything that size. And you're going to kind of want to stack them, I guess. Mm, how do I want to do this? This is a hard one. I'll stack them. So, let's just get... Actually, I won't stack them. I'll just do this kind of stuff. But um, while I'm doing this... If you guys have actually paid attention to my channel, I uploaded an intro that I made. It might be in the beginning of this video if I feel worthy of showing it off because it's only my first intro. I'm new to Cinema 4D. I used to be 3D back in when my uh, name was like Spectre and Ghostly. That was back when I used to lead info with uh, Texa. I don't know, but I was I was leader with graphics with uh, one of the info members. And... Um... I don't know. I re-downloaded it because my brother uses it all the time. And I came home from college a while back. Well, a while, like a couple weeks back. And pretty much just watched him make some stuff. And, you know, always me wanting to do something better than him. So I, I'm like, alright, I'm going to make some intros because I have After Effects. And I don't believe it's that hard to do, which I was terribly wrong. It was so hard. But, um... Uh, I'm actually just gonna take this. Control T. We're gonna, we're gonna have to fill these boxes somehow. I think this is gonna work. If not, nope, it's not gonna work. Screw it. Alright. Let's do the easy way. Don't try this. Trust me. It's horrible. Alright. Let's go. Let's go to my YouTube channel. Oh, you guys are gonna be able to watch me and see what I have ready to upload. Don't look. Oh, ooh, Vash's intro. Ooh, I broke 100 views, so yay for 100 views in a day, two days, one of those. So, yeah, we're going to do this. 
hopefully my volume won't be too loud. I'm going to try to pause really quick. So we're going to go to somewhere in the video where you want to take the thing off. I usually go right in the middle. Just take this tool. Excuse me. Copy it. Paste. And you're just kind of shrink it. And you're going to put it behind the rectangle. Keyword, behind. Keep shrinking it until you like the way it looks. I kind of want the top of the Photoshop, to be honest. You know, it's probably not going to be in Yeah, it's not going to be in there. Actually, yeah, well. So, we got that. Take another speed art. This is my high RC. Freaking high ended when I did this. And then they started back up. And, of course, this was a waste of time, like usual. Most of the stuff I do is a waste of time. But, um... Just gonna do same thing. Oh, I'm gonna sore throat from doing this. Same thing. Control T. Shrink. Put it next to this. And let's go back up to my blast off RC entry. I can't wait until the results come out for this. It's gonna be amazing. Just set a hundred views. Of course, I go to my Facebook first and I click. Does this want to be Bay or not? Oh, everything I clicked at freaking the music video part. Holy shit. No, it's too much for I'm in. There we go. Screw it. It's good enough. Hey, that's when I go eat dinner. So take this. And I think three is going to fill it up. If not, then. No, three will do it. Apply. Go over here. Oh. Take this, kind of overlay them. This is going to be the little easy part. Right click, or click, shift, click, right click, rash, or merge layers. Take this. You can put rulers if you guys really want to, to make sure you're getting everything the way you want it to be. Let's just do this so you guys have an idea. So now delete that really quick. <sighs> Boom. Check out my recent work. Look at that. Look at that beauty. I think the box is too close to my recent work. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit and move it down. Hint. So, why'd I click that? Stupid me. So you kind of have your kind of basic... Moving that back up, actually. I don't want to get it so close, it almost looks like it's touching, but I want to make sure it looks like it's under it. There you go. So you kind of have your background going on, and it's coming together. It's 28 minutes in, but it's coming together slowly, very slowly. So, you're going to kind of find another light flare. Not that, but... Oh, no, no, no. Why is it doing that? Holy. Why are you on normal? It should be on overlay. What is ticked on down here? Confused. Or is pass through. Uh, this is a struggle right here. Alright, let's just try to take this and move it in here. Alright, that's not having it. So, what we're gonna do. Really wanna use flares in this though. What's going on here? This is annoying, very annoying. Is it gray and overlay? The fuck? That's why. Linear dodge add. I don't know why I did that, guys. I'm sorry about that. We're going to take this and you're going to put it up here. Take your eraser, put it back around 400, 300 is good. 
make sure the hardness is on zero. Erase the hard edges. So next thing you're gonna want to do, if you want to claim this as yours, this is for us designers. You're gonna take this, you're gonna scroll out, get the rectangle, and you're gonna make a little box. Little, I mean little. I don't mean half the screen. I mean little. And you're gonna kind of show it off a little bit. Be like, I can design. Like suck it. And then you're just gonna kind of control J, kind of trying to make it the same size on each side. Rasterize. All right, you're gonna click the pen tool. Click here in the middle ruler. You can hold out, hold shift, click, click out. Ah, click out here. Click in there. Click middle ruler. New layer. Make sure you have a ton of new layer. I also screwed everything up. Foreground color, which is by black, or you can click color. And there you go. And then you're gonna want to control J. Flip horizontally. Get that out of the way. I don't know how big I want this. Probably that, probably that size is good. No, it's each side's are kidding each other. Where did it go? Alright, move this. Not in the middle. Unless, actually, it might go in the middle. You can put it in the middle. I don't want it, I want it on the side. Like around here, maybe. Yeah, that's good. I'm gonna make sure these are merged. Right click, flip 180. I'm gonna move this all the way over so it's over. Oh, what? It's over here. So you have this. That's too far out. Let's put it right here. It's right here. Go to my exclusive pack. It's a streak. I'm not going to click on anything. That stupid bullshit's going to pop up. Here you go. Streak. Um, control U for hue and saturation. Move it so it is blue. Perfect. Can all the way over ha. Huh? Make sure it's always on linear dodge add. Put it below these rectangles. Zoom in over here because you gotta see actually what you're doing. And you're gonna have it so it's a little bit of highlighted. Put your eraser down back to like 19. Erase the hard edge. Zo zoom out. Take this tool, right click, or not right click, excuse me, it is control X to do to delete, control J, duplicate that once again, and move it all the way over here, alright, and so you have kind of like a a blue streak going on those and you can fill those with whatever you want I did in my one banner I made it up here and I put hashtag yeet by bear because it was a giveaway yeah so you have your basic banner right here and uh, you have what you want you have that you can fill out what you want I prefer using the font uh, Arial one of the first fonts you get with your computer <gasps> excuse me but um the next thing you're gonna want to do, go back to the exclusive pack. This is gonna be adding like essentials, not essentials, but um, eh, I guess it's called an essentials, but it's gonna be adding like cool little effects that just enhance your stuff. So you're gonna take halftone A, and I don't know what these are called. If you guys don't want to buy my pack because you can't afford it or something, I'm sorry. If you can get one of your friends to help you buy it, I'd pr I'd honestly give it to both of your friends. But um, just gonna take this, go into your YouTube, make sure it's below your actual stuff. Well, not below. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna put it below everything except for my background overlays. So, alright, I'm gonna put it back here. You're gonna kind of like make it so it looks like it's like coming out of the screen. And you don't want the big part of it, so kind of gonna have that. And 
then I'm gonna go to the particles tab and you're going to find this particle. It's just all caps particles. I don't use any of these really. It just have them exclusive pack because I know some 3D members or 3D people are gonna use them. So you're gonna kind of put the particles behind it. And yeah, so this is a uh, tutorial on a YouTube, a clean professional 2D YouTube banner. And uh, I did this in one take, so thank God because I spent 40 minutes 35 minutes holy shit on this but um if you are a designer and you want to learn 2d and you're not inspired just you're you're gonna get it trust me graphics doesn't come to you with a click of a button or a click of your mouse or click of anything it's just gonna you gotta work on it you gotta find your own style and this is really easy it's just putting layers together and i know some people don't want to have the time it's frustrating some of it might not look good but I say with any pack, it's the way you use the materials, it's the way you use these textures, it's the way you use these layers, pretty much. And we made this, so if you guys like need any other tutorials on anything, please comment in the section below. I will not be doing a tutorial, in, uh, intro tutorial, because that stuff takes me like 7 hours. It is ridiculous how long it takes me to make an intro, they are so bad for 7 hours too. But um, this takes me uh, like 40 minutes. I'd I take 40 minutes out of the day to help you guys. I'd take an hour out of the day, two hours. But um, this is just an intro. Or not an intro. Shit, it's just a YouTube banner. And I even did this at 2.28 a.m. for you guys. So if you enjoyed this, if you had fun watching it, please leave a like and a comment. If you guys actually learned a lot, please like and comment, subscribe, everything. Also, follow me on Twitter. So... I don't know what to do. I'll leave. I guess I'll leave the PSD in the in the description. I'm not gonna leave it of this, but I will leave it of my YouTube banner with my CC on it. If I take the CC off, it looks eh, it looks alright. But I like my CC on. It enhances the color. It makes it more professional. So hope you guys enjoyed. This is Bear, and I've took almost 40 minutes to do this. So hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like and comment and see you in my next tutorial or my next video. Peace.